Again, God is beseeching his, his people. Listen to me, living translation. All Israel, you are left. I have created you and cared for you since you were born. Or I will be your God through all your lifetime. Yes, even when your hair is white with age, I made you. Living translation. Yeah, but what? Isaiah 46. Oh, 46. 3 through 4. Listen to me, all Israel who are left. I have created you and cared for you since you were born. For I will be your God through all your lifetime. Yes, even when your hair is white with age, I made you and I will care for you. I will carry you along and be your savior. Amen. The word comfort is written all over that. Yeah. All the way. It just ministers. Mm -hmm. It's like you just you can just sit there and just bask in it. That's right. That's how I feel. It's like God, God is he said, I, I, I in the very beginning. And that's what I'm, that's what that's what Clark is experiencing. Sorry to reference that. But it's like he's he's experienced God's love from the get-go, from the very beginning. And it's carried him over, and that's how he lives his life. And he's so faithful and he hears from God. God has directed him to for this relationship. And and it reveals his re he's able to reveal the relationship, the intimacy of his relationship with with um forgot his uh, the wife's name, I forgot his name. Um, but with her. <clears throat> the purpose of this comfort that our God is describing is to lift this up, lift up those who are walking in uncertainty. That's the purpose. God's purpose is to this is why he's when, he, when I hear Isaiah 40, verse 1, this comfort, mm -hmm. comfort my people, says the Lord your God, mm -hmm. says the Lord your God. God is speaking so, so personal. The purpose of this comfort that our God is describing when we read Isaiah 40 is, is to lift up those, and this is happening a lot, like what we see in, in Let's Talk, they're walking with uncertainty mm -hmm. and depression. And they're wondering about their future, what their future may hold, mm -hmm. where hope is lost. And that's what, I've, that's what I've heard. Remember the clip that I just played. We now have hope in our despair. Mm -hmm. His peace and in our complete we receive his peace in our in our confusion and his faithful presence in difficult times mm -hmm. and in good. Mm -hmm. The Lord is assuring us to take our focus off everything else and to remember, I am your sovereign God. Mm -hmm. So when I going back to going back to Isaiah 40, I God is showing me, God is telling me, I am sovereign. I love you and I'm sovereign. And he's describing all the wonders, that, all the concerns that we might have, all the doubts. And it's like, do you really hear me, God? Do you, do you understand my feelings? And God's going, I know. Amen. I, I Amen. do not understand. It's like I'm describing all the things that who else has held the oceans and the, and the measures of his hand. It's like, whoa. And it's like he cares for me and he loves me and Amen. he's going to be with me Amen. no matter what. Amen. In Isaiah, in uh, Psalm 103. <laughs> so I'll get you, give me a second to get there. Psalm 103, 13 through 18. This comfort that I'm describing is not just personal, it's also national. Because what's happening nationally is, is can put people in despair because you know, we don't want things to happen to our country. We don't want to, things like that. I'm not gonna, but it's like this 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 message is powerful in the sense and, and should be reassuring to us that God says, God, even when we're going through what we're going through, and it could be, you know, got the judgment upon America. It's like, you know, we don't know where God's gonna take our country. But God says, God says in the beginning, he says, comfort, oh comfort my people in the turmoil and the things that you're going through. And he's that's what he's sharing with Israel. It's like Israel's going through a, a tough time right now. 
Right. Israel's Israel's being judged by God. And there's just a few left that really believe in him. Right. And God says, comfort those people. Mm. Comfort my children. Comfort my children. So Psalms 103, 13 through 18. Living translation says, he is like a father to us. Tender and sympathetic, sympathetic to those who reverence him. 14. For he knows we are but dust. 15. And that our days are few and brief, like grass, like flowers, 16, blown by the wind and gone forever, 17 and 18. But the loving kindness of the Lord is from everlasting Amen. to everlasting Amen. to those who reverence. His salvation is to the child is to children's children of those who are faithful to his covenant yes. and remember to obey him. You get that? Yes. God is faithful. He's tender and sympathetic to those who love him, who reverence him, who, who desire to see him as he is. And I think that's what that's why it touches me so much is that that uh, Clark's wife is like, he want, she actually is questioning, but she wants to know this. Right. Mm -hmm. She yeah. wants to know, why do you believe this? Mm -hmm. All that has been taken from you and all that, it's she wants, it's, it's not like, it's like a plea, show me why you believe that. And God's, and God's showing us through his word, he says, he's, God is going to be tender and sympathetic because we love him. And because he loves us. Because he knows that we're just like us. We're fragile. But he still cares for us. And that our days are few and brief like grass, like flowers, blown by the wind and gone forever. Mm -hmm. But the loving kindness of the Lord. I don't think we get that. I pray that I get that. That the loving kindness of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting. What Amen. is this loving kindness that God is offering? Mm -hmm. what, what is it? What causes it's the Holy Spirit yeah. that would cause me to cling to this? Is is believing that He's when He says something that His loving kindness for me. Is from everlasting to everlasting, Amen. and that He knows how fragile I am. And when I, when my heart breaks, His heart breaks. Amen. It's like when, when I'm, when I have my doubts, my insecurities, you know, growing up and things like, and even today, you know, you can have those things that kind of pop up and stuff. It's just like, God help me. And God's just like, it's like when, when I think I really believe this message came out of what was with Debbie's been struggling with. It's like. It's like, you know, you're, you're feeling, it's like, God, you know, we're pr praying and asking and beseeching God. And God just, you know, God says, I got you. Mm -hmm. Just just let me comfort you. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you just let it go. Not to let it go where you're not concerned anymore, mm -hmm. but you're like, no, it's like, if God says this, comfort my people, speak tenderly to Jerusalem and tell her, that her sad days are gone, her sins are pardoned, and the Lord will give her twice as many blessings as he gave mm -hmm. her in the punishment. So it's like tenderly, so if God speaks to us tenderly. Amen. Tenderly. Amen. tenderly. And that's what I keep keep hearing. Um, so let's, let's turn to 2 Corinthians really quick. Chapter 1, 2 Corinthians chapter 1, and let's start in verse 3. Living translation. What a wonderful God we have. He is the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the source of every mercy, and the one who is so wonderfully comforts and strengthens us in our hardship and trials. And why does he do this? Why does he do that? so that when others are troubled needing our sympathy and encouragement we can pass on to them this same help and comfort God has given us Amen. that is power because that's something I when you go to Let's Talk you don't know it's like mm -hmm. you know, 
<laughs> but it's like, but that's the first thing that comes my mind, out of my mouth. God, it's not like I, re, it's not like I dwell on things at all. It's those things I, I don't think about, but I'm able, like when I read, when uh, God put me and Adrian together and spoke to him, it's like, I was able to con convey to him the hardships and the trials after he shared with me. And I go, Hey, you know, something like let me let me basically share something with you, something that I can say mm -hmm. this to him. But I was able to relate with him um, what he's going through. And he's not alone, and that God sees him, and God is God is watching over him, and God's going to take him out of this, mm -hmm. and He's going to comfort you, He's going to take care yeah. of you, He's going to lead you into better pastures. Mm -hmm. Man, yes. he is, and that's it's it's really God makes it really simplistic. It's yes. like all all the things that that we go through all those trials and, and that going through now, going through in our past and things like that. It's like, God's got it. Amen. And he says, Amen. comfort. Amen. I'm going to comfort you yeah. in this, what yeah. you're going through. It's like, you don't know how you're going to get through it, but I'm going to comfort you. Amen. Amen. Uh, Amen. Okay. And why does he do this? So, so that when others are troubled, needing our sympathy and encouragement, we can pass on to them this same help mm -hmm. and comfort and the comfort that God has given us. Yes. Five, you can be sure that the more we undergo sufferings for Christ, the more he will shower us with his comfort and encouragement. Mm -hmm. That's reassurance. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. It's like it doesn't end. It actually gets better. Mm -hmm. It actually gets more intimate. It actually gets more personal. Yes. You know, we're constantly growing in this. Yeah. <clears throat> but in our trouble, God had had comforted us, and this too to help you, to show you from our personal experience how God will tenderly comfort you when you undergo these same sufferings. Mm -hmm. He will give you the strength to endure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let that minister. Amen. Let that minister to you. But in our but in our trouble, God had comforted us, right? He has comforted me mm -hmm. personally in my life. And this too to help you to show you from, from your personal experience how God will eternally comfort them, basically. Mm -hmm. The people that you're talking <laughs> to, the testimony yeah. you're able to give. The witness that you're able to give to an individual when God says puts somebody in front of you and it's like, whoa, it's like that was that was something that God wanted. And it's like it's wonderful. And it's like what Terry was saying, it's it's it how it, when you when God touches you and, and you're speaking to somebody and 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 how it really edifies and builds that person up because you're basically sharing something that God has done in your own life. Yes. <clears throat> Eight, I think you ought to know, dear brothers, about the hard time we went through in Asia. We were really crushed and overwhelmed and feared we would never live through it. It's pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like a little story. That's something that's really, that's, that's persecution. Nine, we felt we were doomed to die and saw how powerless we were to help ourselves. But that was good. For then... We put everything into the hands of God, who alone could save us. Mm -hmm. He alone. That's it. That's the answer. That's the beginning of the story. Not the end of the story. That's the beginning of the story. That God has it all. That everything is in God's hands. Yes. What we're going through right now. Mm -hmm. The situations that we're going through. Family ones. Nation, nationwide, you know, relationships. It's just how God is faithful to restore. It's it's wonderful to hear what how David and Carrie. It's like Dad. It's that's just like oh, it's a that. it's a miracle. It's a it's it's a how God can restore. God can comfort. How, because you know, because you can relate. I can and what you know David's feeling and stuff like that. It's like being ripped apart and then. God's comforting him. God's the one who's doing the work Amen. and is restoring 
re, re, restoring his heart to what, like you were saying, he's like, this is that I that we used to talk to, is I used to talk with and things like that, and how close we were. And it's like because God comforted me. Mm -hmm. That's the beauty of it. It's like all relationships. I don't care what it is, how how troubling it is, and how divisive it is. God can restore us. There's that's a given. That's that's an absolute that God absolutely can restore those. Amen. They're not beyond His reach. That's Amen. Amen. For He can even raise the dead. Ten, Amen. and He did. He did help us and saved us from the terrible death. Yes, and we expect Him to do it again. Amen. And again, <laughs> right? Yes. He will. And he does. And he's faithful in that way. <laughs> Something I want to share with you that goes along with what I'm saying. So remember this one last thing. God's heart is tender. Amen. As it is strong. Amen. It's absolutely. God is mighty, He's powerful, and He can speak, and everything can be eliminated. But God is tender. Amen. God has such a tender heart so, for His people, Amen. for this generation. Mm -hmm. That's what He's doing right now. It's like when we first went, we going to Les Pock this year, it was like, it's like, well, you know, it's like seems pretty hard, and people just don't seem like, uh, you know, they have a heart for God and stuff like that. It's like, hold on, <laughs> we're not finished here. <laughs> so that you know, that's we can always try to see things on a superficial, superficially and stuff like that. But God is just like, yeah, and then, and, then, and then to hear how it touches my heart to hear that what you're sharing that Adrian is connected with that young lady. And it's like they're best friends, and it's like this is all like God's doing. Yeah, it's just like <laughs> God is comforting a generation. Uh -huh. God is He's comforting a generation that has been. I I don't think mm -hmm. in America history it is bad as what they're dealing with right now. Right. Oh, it's bad. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not. We're just like when we were young, John. And it's like it's like that's just like. Like a, a very innocent time, it seems like, but it really wasn't. But mm -hmm. but it's just like what they're dealing with. Yeah, mm -hmm. Oh my goodness! Yeah. It's not. It's not good. Um. So that's something I wanted. I want us to take to heart. It's like God's heart is tender. Mm -hmm. It's like yeah, we can relate to that. Oh, we've got tender heart. Like, no, he's like beyond tender. That's what transforms a person. To, to trust in a sovereign God. Right. Because he senses tenderness of God. Amen. It's like, Amen. and especially when you're being, when that's why I know it's just a woman. It's just like when, when she's like, why? Mm -hmm. It's like she's asking the question. It's like, why do you, why do you trust this God? He did, he did all this. She believed did all this. And he's like, he's just patient. He just doesn't say a word. He says, <laughs> let's go. We're going somewhere. And she goes, where are you taking him? We're going to church. Mm -hmm. So he takes her to the to the hilltop and he just speaks very short period of time then. It's just like how it touches her heart that because she was searching and see, she was actually witnessing what how this man lived and his devotion to his daughter and how he was sat, he basically was sacrificing everything so he can raise his daughter to be a good woman. Mm -hmm. And and that's that's the story. And it's like there was this a, a love that developed that that came out of comfort. It was a comfort that that actually brought this family together. That's powerful to me. And it's powerful for the time that we're in, and that to always remember that God is tender and he's sympathetic to us. He just loves us so much. He really does. And so when I was upstairs and and studying and God asking God for direction and and um and I had this I had this <laughs> I had more I had another direction that I was actually going and but it was kind of along this but this was just a small part of it. <laughs> 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 it was and, and I'm like praying I'm like praying because Debbie's at the at 
uh, ER and stuff, and I'm like, my mind is just like, yeah, it's hard, it was hard, right. and it's like God comforted, mm -hmm. and that's that that's what came to me. Mm -hmm. it, it, God expanded on the small part. Amen. Right. Yeah, the, 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 other part, so. <laughs> the other part. I don't know where it was. <laughs> but that that's what happened. Amen. So, uh, Father God, I just thank you so much, Lord, for your word, Lord. We praise you, God. And God, just thank you so much, Lord, how much you love us, how you comfort us, Lord. Help us, Lord, to receive your comfort. God, would you speak to us as you do in your word and say, comfort, comfort my people. Mm -hmm. Comfort my people. So, God, we thank you so much, Lord, for that comfort. Lord, comfort this nation. Mm -hmm. Comfort the church. Mm -hmm. Comfort the youth oh, of our city. God, thank you so much for doing that and what you're doing right now. But God, we pray and ask, Lord, that you would have, that you would move, continue, that you help us, Lord, to do that, Lord, to help the youth, Lord, bring more yes. of the youth, yes. even parents, Lord, yes, uh, grandfathers. Yes. God, just yes. pray, Lord, please, God, grandmothers, Lord, yes. uh, to, to come to the God of comfort, yes. Lord, to understand that you're sovereign. And Lord, that even while we're going through things, family members are going through things, Lord. Mm -hmm. God, that you are in control. Yes, Lord. And Lord, that you can, that you will. Mm -hmm. It's not that you can, you will work it all out for your glory. Lord, it's all for your have mercy, Lord. And it's all for your glory. And God, I pray that you would have your way. Uh, as we leave today, Lord, I pray that you would um thank you, Lord, for continuing to transform our hearts. Yes. God, don't let us forget. Mm -hmm. God, don't let us forget the simple things. Yes, the things that are um, that you want us to truly grasp. So God, please, God, I pray that you would just comfort us now. Comfort, comfort our loved ones, the people that mm -hmm. we love, have concern for, um, relationship, healing of body and soul. Mm -hmm. God, so God, we thank you so much, Lord. Mm -hmm. and God, as we go into a time of communion, Lord, and, and God, um, I just thank you, Lord, for Joshua to, to lead us uh, to yeah. when we go into um, Jesus. Uh, communion, Lord. And God, just help us, Lord, to uh, realize and, and to, to reverence what we're about to partake in, mm -hmm. in Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's the name of that movie? Uh, Love Comes Softly. It's the first one. Actually, the first one I ever saw.